Hello everyone, welcome to study time. In this video, we are going to see class 4 computer chapter 2 word processor. We are going to learn how to create and save a file, how to open the existing word file, how to save, save as, work on different views. We are going to see all this in this video. Next. What is MS Word? MS Word is a word processing software. It falls under the category of application software. It is used to create and edit our personal and business documents such as letters, reports, etc. The default extension of MS Word is .docx. Next, we are going to see how to open MS document. So first you have to click start, all programs, Microsoft Office and then click on MS Word 2007 or whichever format you have. Then you will be getting this word. Here see, first one is file tab, next you have quick access toolbar, then you have ribbon where you can see the font style Next, you have title bar on the top specifying the document name. So, next, this part is help. This question mark is there, no? That is help. Next, this 1, 2, 3, 4, like scale, it is there, is it? That is ruler. Next, you have dialog box launcher. You can either click that to get dialog box. Next, you have status bar, specifying the words, page number, that is the status bar. Next, you have document area where you will be typing the documents. Next, you have view buttons here. Next, you have zoom controls. So, these are the... So, items present in the Word document. Next, we are going to see what are present in MS Word document. First, you have home, insert, page layout, references, mail, review, view, PDF element. In the file menu, you have new, open, save, save as, print, close, etc. First is new. So, if you click new, you will be getting, you have to click blank document and you have to create for creating new document. Then for opening any document, you have to click on open, select the file location, click on the file you want to open, just click open. Your file will be opened. Next, if you want to save, you have to click save. So I have made one change in the document. I am going to do save as. So either you can save as in a different type or you can save it in different file file name you can change or you can change the type of the file so here n number of options are given you can change to any other format if you want to save as so that's that is the meaning of save as next we are going to see see here few number of options are given you can check it out next you are going to see what are the options under print so i have clicked print so first you have you have to select the printer name either you have to click on all or current page or you have to check the pages whichever page you want to get print you have to change the setting to that next you can change the printer either you want to print odd numbers even numbers or all pages pages per sheet so scale to paper size either one page or two pages that you can select number of copies you can uh, choose properties of printing options you can choose either portrait or landscape landscape pages per sheet you can select these are the options present under print option So you can also choose a black and white or color printout. So next we'll see. 
prepper you have properties many options under prepper then you have send you can send this document either through email email as pdf file attachment so you can send this document then you uh, then next option is close then you have exit word closing meaning is you are closing the current document exit meaning is you are exit getting exit from the ms word so you have to know the difference between close and exit next we'll see view option under view option you can uh, see one page two page print layout that is a print layout then you have full screen option this is the full screen option next you have web layout this is the web layout next you have ruler option you can click ruler either uh, on the uh, top or you can uh, see here in the side next you have grid lines you can check in or you can choose whatever you want next you have zoom in option zoom out either you can choose a percentage so 200 percentage 100 percentage you can choose so in the bottom of the uh, document you have zoom options so you can scroll down that to zoom in and zoom out so plus and minus symbols are given plus meaning is you have you can increase the size so minus is you are decreasing yes this is what happens when you click plus and minus for zoom options so next you have i have typed one uh, two lines we'll see what are the options under home tab so this is a text you can change the font type whichever font you want you can change the type of font so you have to select the text and type see i am selecting and i have selected the font type then you can choose font size you can make it as bold so since this font is already in black it is not uh, there is no we couldn't see the difference between a uh, bold see i have made arial now so you can see the difference between bold italic underline overline that is super subscript superscript you can use it in max then you have sentence case lower case upper case capitalize each word so toggle case all the cases you can change then you have grow font then you have minimize font next you have text highlight so select the text you want to highlight and then you can choose the color which you want to highlight next is font color see i am make it as in as making it as normal and then i'm showing how to change the color of the font so that is font color next you have bullets option you have uh, many options in bulleting so you can this select the symbols whichever you want next option is you have numbering either you can uh, number in uh, numeric a b c roman letters you can choose that also next you have alignment left alignment center alignment right alignment so center justified you have all the options then you have line spacing so if you click more so your spacing between the lines will be more next you have borders that you have to use it in table next option is you have find replace so you can find the text whichever you want to find you can also replace it with any any other word so i'm going to replace word with text so all the words word will be replaced with text so this is how find and replacement works then you have copy option cut option paste option so cut meaning is your text won't be visible so copy meaning is your your uh, text will be there for 
original text and the copied text will be there for cutting you, your original text will not be there the text which you copy will be there next you have on the top you have symbols is it so that is for saving undo redo options so these are the uh, basic things that you need to know about microsoft word document so next we'll see what are the shorts shortcuts you need to know see the shortcuts for few things for opening a file it is control plus o for creating a new document it is control plus n for closing a document it is control plus w for saving a file it is control plus s display the save as dialog box you need to press f12 for copy it is control c for paste it is control v for cut it is control plus x for undoing it is control plus z redo or repeat an action it is control plus y to cancel an action you have to press escape next we are going to see few practice questions and answers see whether you can able to answer or not what is a word processor write at least two uses of it ms word is a word processing software it is used to create and edit personal and business documents such as letters reports etc what is the default file extension of ms word 2007 or 2010 or 2013 the default extension of ms word is .docx what is the shortcut to open the print dialog box so it is control plus p how many types of page orientation are there in ms word name them there are two types of page orientation one is portrait or landscape ms word falls under which category of software it is word processing software so next dash is the shortcut key to paste in ms word so control v control a selects all the text and graphics in the working document yes it is true the web layout view is used to preview our document before printing it is false because before printing you have to use print preview it is possible only to zoom in but not zoom out in word ms word no you can do both zoom in and zoom out so the statement is false dash alignment positions the text according to the margin so it is text alignment you can align either left side of the margin or right side of the margin or the center next few lab practice questions are given you can practice yourself i'll just read and explain what it is open ms word and write five sentences about yourself and save the file with your name on the desktop so that is easy so you are going to open write about yourself and then save with your name the location of the file should be in the desktop next open the file that you have just created write two more sentences about your parents and save the file with the name my family in g drive so what you have to do is you have to open the file that you have saved in desktop you are going to write two more sentences about your parents and again you are going to do save as previously you saved in desktop so if you want to do the same in the different location you have to make save as option open the file that you have just created and set the page margin and orientation of the document for printing on a normal a4 size paper this you can do next open the file that you have just created and increase the font size to 16 font style calibri and save the file with the name my file in a folder so you are going to just make changes increase the font size to 16 font style to calibri and you are going to save it in my file name create a new file and write five points about your country now adjust the space between the text and point number using the ruler handles 
for this you have to know what is rule l so you can just try it out so hope i explained about we have just seen only the introduction part of ms word we have just seen how to open a file how to save save as so hope this uh, video is useful for beginner level this is what is covered in chapter 2 class 4 computer hope this video is useful and understanding thanks for watching